Na tukio la kihistoria. Maandelekezo hapa baada ya zoezi hili kwa kipekee kabisa ndugu wana habari leo tumekutana hapa kwa jukumu moja la kusign makubaliano kati ya klabu ya Africans uh, mabingwa wa kihistoria wa taifa letu la Tanzania uh, pamoja na taasisi kubwa ya afya barani ita, katika taifa letu la Tanzania lakini pia duniani uh, la Aga Khan taasisi kubwa hizi mbili leo zinakutana pamoja kusign makubaliano ya ki, ya partnership ya kimahusiano makubaliano hayo yatakayokwenda kuwa na faida kubwa uh, zifuatazo ya kwanza uh, ni kujenga afya bora kwa jamii yetu kwa ujumla kwa kuwa na program kadhaa zitakazoweza kuleta elimu ya afya kwa, kwa wananchi wanachama wapenzi na mashabiki wa club ya young africans lakini pia taifa kwa ujumla wote mnafahamu ukubwa wa club ya young africans katika kuleta Uh, msukumo wa kijamii especially kwenye maendeleo ya jamii na moja katika eneo muhimu ambalo kwetu sisi tumeliona ni eneo la afya na kama hatutakuwa na wanachama na taifa ambalo halina afya hata maendeleo ya michezo kwenye taifa letu lakini maendeleo ya taifa kwa ujumla hata kwepo kwa tuliona tutengeneze partnership hii ili iweze kutupa sisi nafasi ya kubeba ajenda za kiafya zitakazoweza kuinufaisha jamii hilo ni eneo la kwanza. Eneo la pili katika makubaliano yetu haya ni mahusiano yatakayofanya wachezaji na watendaji wa klabu ya Young Africans kuhudumiwa katika hospitali hii ya Aga Khan. Uh, tunayo taratibu kubwa kila mwaka ya kufanya medical examination uh, kwa wachezaji wetu ambao ni mandatory kisheria na kanuni za mpira uh, kushiriki michezo wakiwa na afya yenye utimilifu na taasisi ya Aga Khan ndiyo itakayobeba dhima ya kujali afya za wachezaji wetu kuanzia hivi sasa. Eneo la tatu ambalo litakwenda kujenga mahusiano uh, katika mkataba huu ni eneo la afya ya mashabiki na wanachama wa klabu ya Africans ambao ni halali kwa maana ya wanachama walolipa ada zao. Hili ni eneo muhimu sana. Nafikiri mkurugenzi pia ameligusia kidogo kwenye discussion yetu wakati tunatengeneza partnership hii tuliweka umuhimu mkubwa wa kuhakikisha wanachama wetu wanapata kipaumbele. Na hivi leo ni seme sasa proudly kwamba mwanachama wa klabu ya Young Africans atakayekuwa na kadi yake ya wanachama wa Young Africans ambayo ni hai ataweza kutibiwa katika hospitali zote zilizotajwa hapa za Aga Khan kwa punguzo la bei. Kutakuwa kuna special consideration ya punguzo la bei kwa mwanachama wa klabu ya Young Africans. Na ni seme tu punguzo la bei litakuwa <coughs> litaendana na matumizi ya huduma ambazo wamezipata pale katika kituo hicho kama tulivyosikia gakano wana hospitali kubwa mbili hapa Dar es Salaam ambayo iko uh, tuko hapa kwenye jengo hili na Mwanza ambayo imepelekwa sasa hivi kuwa na hadhi ya kuwa hospitali ya mkoa lakini kuna vituo vya afya 27 across the country mwanachama wa Africans nenda katika kituo chochote cha gakano kilichokuwa karibu na wewe pata huduma na wakati kabla hujalipa bili yako onyesha kadi yako ya Africans utapata punguzo la uh, gharama ambazo utakuwa umezitumia kwenye matibabu hayo. Hii ni faida kubwa kwa wanachama wetu. Tunataka wanachama wenye afya lakini hakuna mtu anaweza kuzuia maradhi. Maradhi ni haki ya Mwenyezi Mungu ameipeleka kwa kwa viumbe wake wote. Kwa hiyo tunapopata changamoto ya kiafya wanachama wa klabu ya Young Africans sasa kimbilio lenu ni Aga Khan Hospital na mkifika pale mtaweza kuhudumiwa na ziada ya hapo mtapata punguzo katika gharama zenu. Liko swali ambalo linaweza lika tukajiuliza tukisema wote tunafahamu if you're talking about health services across the country taasisi namba moja ukitoa hospitali zetu za serikali ambayo inaheshimika kwenye eneo la afya ni Aga Khan. Hakuna mjadala kwenye hilo. Kama ilivyo kwenye ubora wa football hakuna club kama Young Africans hivi sasa. Sasa inapofikia wakati huo Watu wanaweza wakasema inakuwaje Aga Khan tunaifahamu kama ni taasisi bora ya afya lakini taasisi hii ina gharama kubwa za ki za ki za ki gharama yani wote pia tunafahamu kwamba Aga Khan kwenye picha kubwa ni hospitali ghali nataka niwatoe wasiwasi wanachama na wapenzi wa klabu ya Africans Aga Khan wamekuja na concept tofauti hivi sasa hapo zamani wakati wakiwa na hospitali moja kubwa kweli ilikuwa ni expensive lakini sasa wamekuja na categories kadhaa za hospitali. 
Leo Aga Khan ipo maeneo ya Tandala. Leo Aga Khan iko Mbagala. Leo Aga Khan ipo Kigamboni. Maeneo ambayo naweza kusema sio yenye uwezo mkubwa wa kubeba gharama za kimaisha. Na concept hii Aga Khan walioanzisha inakwenda kuwafikia watu hao katika maeneo husika na wamefanya research kujua lifestyle ya watu hao katika hayo maeneo wanojenga hospitali uwezo wao wa kifedha kwa hiyo aga Khan iliyokuepo mwananyamala au tandale gharama zake hawezi kuwa ni sawa sana aga Khan headquarter lakini kitu kizuri ambacho nimejifunza ni kwamba aga Khan kuna circulation au rotation ya specialist kwa specialist anaweza kuwa hapa headquarter leo kesho kamkuta yuko tandale lakini kitu kizuri ni kwamba gharama utakayochajiwa hapa Aga Khan kama headquarter haitaendana na gharama utakayochajiwa ukiwa pale tandale. Kwa hiyo ni watoe wasiwasi wanachama. Tukiona kituo cha Aga Khan kwenye eneo husika, tutambue ya kwamba eneo hilo linaendana au Aga Khan katika eneo hilo gharama zake inaendana na maisha ya watu waliokuwa kwenye eneo hilo. Lakini kitu kizuri huduma zao zinabaki kuwa katika standard ile ile. Huduma utakayopata Aga Khan headquarter utakwenda kuipata Kigamboni utakwenda kuipata mbagala utakwenda kuipata tandale kwa ndugu wanachama tusihofie sasa gharama za aga Khan tutakapokuwa tumeiona lakini la pili tusisahau punguzo ambao tunakwenda kulipata kutokana na huduma tutakazozipata hapo na niwathibitishia kwamba huduma hizo zitakuwa bora kama jina la aga Khan lilivyo na sisi pia tuhakikishie uh, aga Khan hospital ya kwamba wanachama wetu ni wasikivu watakapopata ujumbe huu siku ya pili eh, watakwenda kupata huduma uh, Aga Khan. Lakini ziada hapo, nichukue fursa hii pia kusema, hii ni moja katika faida kubwa ambayo mwanachama wa Africans anaipata. Tunaposema wanachama wa Africans walipe ada zao na kujisajili kuwa wanachama, hilo ni eneo moja la kuisaidia klabu yao kwenye maendeleo. Lakini sisi pia viongozi tunafanya kila jitihada kuhakikisha kwamba tunaongeza thamani ya uwanachama. Usiwe mwanachama ambaye tu unalipa ada, hakuna benefit nyuma ya uwanachama wako tunataka tujenge benefits nyuma ya kuwa mwanachama wa club ya Young Africans na hili la leo ambalo tunaenda kulisign la kupata huduma ya afya kwa punguzo maana yake ni faida kubwa kwa mwanachama wetu tunakujengea thamani ya kuwa mwanachama wa Young Africans tunataka tutengeneze mfumo ambao mwanachama ataweza kuinufaisha club yake kwa kulipa ada lakini in exchange to that kitendo chake cha yeye kuwa mwanachama wa Yanga aendelee kunufaika na huduma au partnership ambazo Young Africans zinazitengeneza. Tungeweza kuishia tu kupata huduma ya viongozi au, wana, au au wachezaji wa klabu ya Young Africans kuhusiana na hii partnership ya, ya Aga Khan. Lakini tumekwenda mbali kuhakikisha wanachama wetu nchi nzima wananufaika na partnership hii. Kwa hiyo nitoe wito kwa wanachama wa klabu ya Young Africans kulipa ada zao na wale ambao hawajao wanachama waanze kuona thamani sasa ya kulipa ada yao. Nikisema katika hali ya kawaida ada yako ni shilingi 2024 kwa mwaka. Umeenda kuijenga klabu yako. Lakini 2024 hiyo ni punguzo dogo tu utakaweza kulipata kwenye huduma utakayopata kwenye hospitali ya Gakan. Kwa nini sasa usijenge klabu yako na upate upande wa pili ukapata huduma ya punguzo ya huduma za kiafya. Na sio tu hivyo ni wathibitishie wanachama tutaendelea kujenga partnership kubwa zaidi ya hii Uh, zitakazokuja ili zimfanye mwanachama aendelee kunufaika kuwa mwanachama wa Club of Africans. Mwisho nichukue fursa hii kuwapongeza sana Aga Khan. You guys are doing very well. Uh, the establishment of 95 years is not a joke. And you've been consistently doing very well in terms of providing a better healthcare in the country. And you are naweza kusema ni kimbilio la watu wote uh, napofika eneo la afya. Na hivi karibuni Aga Khan Hospital itazindua jengo lake jipya la kansa kama alivyosema mkurugenzi ndio eneo peke yake ambao alikuwa hawatoi huduma hiyo. Sasa atakwenda kufungua huduma ya kansa ambayo jengo lake tutaliona next to the main building inajengwa. Na ni sehemu ambayo uh, inaenda kuisaidia serikali ya Tanzania katika wizara ya afya na huduma za kiafya ambazo zimekuwa ni challenge uh, katika taifa letu. This a milestone for Tanzania. We are very proud today to strengthen our association with Yanga in a very formal way as partners in development. This morning we were just chatting and we realized that Yanga is getting to 89 years 
And Aga Khan is 95 years in the next few months to come in Tanzania. So we are definitely, you know, the same in terms of the longevity of our presence in the country. But more important is the mandate that Yanga has and the mandate of Aga Khan to support the youth, support vulnerable populations, and ensure that we are able to complement what the government is doing in almost every sector. We are very proud today, Mr. President, to inform you that the Aga Khan Health Service is a system which is the largest private health system, not for profit, in Tanzania. We have a tertiary hospital which has all services. The only missing services that we are complementing is the cancer service, which is coming to start in a few months' time to complement the Ocean Road and other cancer services in the country. That is our newest baby in the hospital today. Otherwise, we have all services, including a very dedicated sports services, sports specialists, which are not well utilized. So we are hopeful that this association with Yanga can go beyond Yanga Football Club for others to realize how important it is to get the footballers much more healthier. We've seen multiple times the challenges faced by footballers. And if we have solutions for that, obviously through your leadership, it is quite a very timely you know, idea for us to come together to see how we can complement each other. Apart from the hospital, we have another hospital in Mwanza, plus another 27 polyclinics across the country. So that shows the footprint in Tanzania is big, more in Dar es Salaam, but almost in every city. One of the things that is more exciting to us is that our hospital and our health facilities outside this hospital are accredited international accreditation. Obviously, hospital is a different accreditation, which is the Joint Commission International for the best hospitals in the world. So we have to maintain those standards to ensure patient safety are maintained. But even our health centers are all internationally accredited through the safe care accreditation. That tells you the quality of the work that we do, and we would like also to mention that Yanka, Yanka being the most pronounced club in the country would also be aligned with what we are doing in terms of quality. Yanga has a big fan base. Aga Khan has a big client base. And I'm sure most of our patients are your clients. Formalizing this now brings us to the idea that Aga Khan and Yanga can go beyond what we are doing in our own ways, which we can do together as, as, as a partner. This partnership will look beyond what Aga Khan is doing, because when you complement us, we can do more for civil society. When we complement you, it can increase your fan base, but also you can have a lot of support for your fans. One thing that strikes me, and I'm really proud to mention that here today, is Mr. President's affinity to support the fan base of Yanga. Every time we are talking, he's talking about fans. The strength of a club is the fans. If the leader is aligned with the fans, I want to tell all fans and non-fans that Yanga has a very strong support base for fans. So I think that is important because if this partnership is going to include the fan base to support them in whatever, when fans are healthy, then the club is healthy. When fans are not healthy, then the club is sick. So if leadership of Yanga is considering a partnership that can go beyond the footballers and the management, but the fans, then I think that is a very strategic leadership. Asante-san. Thank you so much. Thank you.